will learn while working is to attend evening classes dealing with the fundamental principles. These classes are conducted in the larger towns and cities by the public schools or other local organizations. In some of them, courses in shop practice are also given. Don't fail to take advantage of these courses to help you prepare yourself for the better jobs. training of any kind will help you develop the coordination of hands and mind which is so important in all mechanical work. Welcome to the chopper class here in Manteca Adult School in Manteca, California. One of the only uh, chopper classes I'm aware of in, in the country if not the world. Well, we teach you how to build rigid frame choppers like a 1948 pan head and other traditional style motorcycle frames. For me, I kept searching for that industry that would give me fulfillment. A lot of people build these cars and build these motorcycles because it's what they get joy from. In the end, I, I realized that what I got joy from was sharing in the joy of actually manufacturing and making these things and using our hands and sharing techniques. So in the middle of 2020, I got the call that I was gonna be a teacher here at Manteca Unified and What's well, more, they were going to let me create my own class to build motorcycle frames, to give people a project and be able to do tube fabrication using the Bailey's tube bender and a lot of our other amazing tools. And you can come in as a complete novice. I can teach you the tube fabrication, how to bend, how to do the math. You walk away at the end with knowing how to build something that's worth a thousand, two thousand dollars for little more than the cost of the steel. And uh, I think that's an amazing government funded facility opportunity. We use these frame jigs for the chop class to teach students how to build the, the frames. And great design, really modular, uh, supplied to us by Chop Source. And this is exactly what you need in your own shop if you want to build uh, a rigid frame or swing arm frame for a big twin or a sportster. So we have uh, our own plasma table. We cut our own axle plates. We cut and bend and machine all our own tube steel. The next, uh, we actually have a local machine shop although we have capabilities to do it. We don't have the time for students to do that. And essentially, Students are able to replicate a set of blueprints for a 1948 pan head frame uh, to, to build their own frame. At the end of the class, if the frame is safe, they get to take that frame home. So it's a great opportunity for someone to get into having a chopper or getting into building mo motorcycles as a hobby and also learn the skill of uh, how to build these frames themselves. I started out with really simple traditional tools. Uh, a wooden stump with a dish bowled out and a handful of hammers and dollies. And that, those tools alone enabled me to make anything I wanted to. It just took more strength, more time and patience. So my process right now is learning how to teach that in an expedited way that is clear and concise and can get someone from novice to intermediate to almost advanced where they can take that skill and develop it further or start to actually make money using those skills. And I think that that's really my goal. I want someone to walk away with not just a, a taste of what we're doing here but actually a new skill set that they can utilize immediately. Uh, I teach TIG, MIG, and stick welding. Um, these are all of our beautiful welders. Fantastic facility. These are all big extraction fans. Kind of make the same sound as the Ghostbusters proton pack. I love it. <laughs> For students to be able to come in, learn something cool, 
learn something that could actually make them money in a facility like this is, is priceless. I think the next generation is really fortunate if you can utilize this facility. So uh, this is our plasma table. The district has, actually has several other plasma tables as well, uh, not just this facility. And as you can see, this is a, one of the big bad boys. We can cut through two inch plate on this um, and basically make any kind, of, any kind of piece that we would need in order to build a motorcycle or hot rod or anything else that we might enjoy making. I think that while we're seeing this huge movement where it was an industrial revolution throughout childhood and it's converted from industrial to domestic industrial so that you know everyone can produce high quality products in their own personal space locally in their own garage and um, you know Bailey's obviously is, is a great example of that because they offer all those tools for the average Joe to pick up and start manufacturing from home. This is our Bailey section. Got a really nice shear where we can cut sheets long ways as well as a uh, you know, four by four or you can put 12 foot sheet in here, which is uh, really nice for cutting strips. Got our hydraulic pan brake. This thing is a beast. Can fold up any kind of shape that we need. We have a general project class that I teach for students who maybe have a project at home, want to come in and get a better understanding of how to utilize these machines. I teach them how to do it safely, and then they can build and work on their own projects using these Bailey's machines. The way Bailey tools help our process along is it enables us as a class to expedite the process. You can do all of, the, all of these same tasks by hand with hand tools or um, tools that are not meant set up for volume manufacturing. But having these big tools just enables me to be able to teach what would be weeks into days and what would be months into weeks. And really, it's invaluable as a teacher to have these tools and be able to do that. Otherwise, I just couldn't, I couldn't do what we wanted to do for the price that we're doing it at. This is the Bailey Tube Bender, and it's probably the backbone of the chopper class. Uh, tube fabrication is a skill that a lot of industries use, but it's kind of overlooked in the school system, so I was really happy when I was able to secure such a fantastic machine. Got all the dies up to two, up to two and a half inch, I think, and um, the beauty of this machine is that I can get a whole class worth of bends for 10 students, bend up their frames in two, two lessons. Whereas if I had to do this by hand and lay out each bend by hand, uh, it would take me, would take me a week at least to bend up all the, the, the pieces for the class. So the fact that we can bend one, set this, and continue to bend and replicate the bend over and over again, is a fantastic tool for the class to use. This is the Bailey slip roll. Really great for making nice smooth curves in sheet metal. If we're doing um, HVAC work or any kind of uh, custom work with sheet metal, this is a really nice tool to have. It also has the ability to roll round stock in there so you can make hoops and things of that nature. Again, great tool for those who want to come into the project class. Back in the early 2000s, before Instagram, and uh, it was all through forums. So I got involved with the metalmeet.org early, and I came from Australia to California to meet people like Ron Cavell, and Lazzie, and Don Houseman, and Bruce Suba puts on an amazing uh, metal meet event every year out in Santa Cruz. And, those guys really answered all the questions to me that I couldn't find in books, that I couldn't find from other professionals out there. And I really gave me a foot up and a lot of confidence to do this as a career. Shane from Bailey's, he probably doesn't even know who I am. I, I mean, I'm a nobody. I'm just a guy who's had a passion for doing this stuff. But I can say that I was impressed. I think he was the first guy in marketing to really pull us together as a community in a online social media kind of way and you know did amazing things at places like SEMA where 
we get together, all the metal shapers to get together, and party and get to know each other and develop relationships. You know, I remember a few years ago, Cornfield Customs and a few other guys who were building a, a Shelby Daytona at SEMA and he organized a buck and all the power hammers so all of us who were like full enthusiasts could come and not only demonstrate Bellish products but like make something tangible that people could go, wow, these guys took a piece of flat sheet metal, built a Shelby Daytona Cobra in a couple of days and you know, just I think that took a, a real vision to think how can I, how can I get these guys in people's faces and showcase their talent and still, you know, make some money on the side. I think that's pretty genius. This is the Bailey's Hydraulic Press. We use this for testing people's welds. Part of the um, AWS exam is to weld up plate with MIG and TIG processes, and then we break the weld to see how strong the weld is. And this machine sure does it. And we use it over and over and over again uh, every year. Haven't had any issues with it. It's very reliable. Across all the campuses here in uh, Manteca Unified School District, we've found Bailey's is one of the most reliable tools out there. Uh, we're always purchasing these tools for the shops because the kids who torture these tools, the tools hold up to the punishment, continue to push out great results. So we'll continue to buy these products in the future. I couldn't have done any of this without the motivation and enthusiasm of my friends and colleagues in America. You know, I, I have friends all over America just through metal shaping, just through making things with my hands. And these are friendships that I'll have for my, my entire life and some of the best people I ever met. So, you know, every week, I meet with my friends and use our machines and participate in, in what we build. And I think that's a massive part of it, you know. If you're just making tin cans, you're gonna get bored. But if you're making hot rods and motorcycles and then you're ripping down a freeway and you look over at your, your buddy and he's looking back at you and there's nothing better than that, sharing that joy, that high, uh, keeps me wanting to bang metal with hammers day in, day out.